from off the block. I get the black girl's dick and the white girl's cock. I brought the Chinese girl a brand new walk. I love Maria cause she made the tamales real hot. On the microphone, I'm the best you hoid. Cause I'm so support with the voids and weights. And if I smoke a nickel back up the hood, you get scuffed like a white wall on the coin. The beats ain't banging, the rhymes is whack. You pretty Tony, I'm the Mac. When you rap, you don't even like to sit yourself. So take the microphone, boy, and stick yourself. I get high as a rooftop, sound like a shoe shop. Nominated pimp of the year, nigga, you not. I got the juice, that's word to Tupac. And all you got coming from me is a boo pop. Disrespect is what you're not gonna do. Put a foot up in your ass with an all white shoe. We ain't friends. So let's not pretend that this razor won't become JD's revenge. You feel me? Ha ha, I'm a bee. I only played that because uh, Miss Parker asked me to. Anyways. Not too bad I couldn't hear it because you got me back here listening to nothing. I mean, you got to, you know, got to join the stream there. You know what I'm saying? So messed up. I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry. I see what it is. It's, it's cool. I, I understand. I, I get it. I All get right. it. Anyways. So, uh, what is this? About almost a month ago, we watched, a, we were trying to watch a certain podcast right mm-hmm. yes and, we were and, uh we were interrupted by a certain nuka that decided that he wanted mm-hmm. to come in and interrupt everything everything you know what i'm saying everything yes he did yes everything. he did so oh, god damn it yeah, sorry. God damn. oh you're making fun of me now you're over here just unprofessional yeah i'm sorry anyways so we decided to revisit said um podcast but w- Miss Parker, do do you want to give everybody a a refresher on why we had? It's been a month since we were able to fucking do this. Yeah, because we were about to do it the very next week. If y'all had had remembered, you know. So what had happened was we was all ready to play this stream and have fun, and then it it got nuked off the internet. Oh my god, it got totally nuked. I was like, where'd it go? What happened? Oh no! And then. What had happened was I had learned a very particular set of skills and I have found it yet again, my treasure, my white whale, the tape that Nuka don't want you to listen to. (laughs) And and we got it. And this time he can't take it because I saved it in three different places. Mm -hmm. So. It, it, you know, we're going to have some fun. We can listen to it. You can. And the best part about this, though, and this is, and I want to make sure, go ahead and put this caveat out there. So uh, Beyond Bars podcast no longer exists. It has been wiped from the internet. So, you know, we can really enjoy listening to this p- piece of history at this point. It's an archive. And um, oh, I'm just really excited to be able to present this to everybody as, you know, history in action. And I know you wanted to bring it up because of something he did recently. Oh, shit. I totally forgot to get that picture. Yeah. Um, hold on. Y'all get, did I send it to you? No, I didn't get it. Hold up. You sent it to your other hot blonde. It wasn't uh, me. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. I'll, I'll just explain a couple things while we're doing this. So, um, I haven't been talking about Nuka because I, I, I had me and him when we, after he, he dropped the cop, well, excuse me. What? He, uh, let's take that back. He dropped the, he dropped the copyright claim, but yes. I'm the one, how can I say this? He dropped it, but because my counter notification went through, it, it, it wasn't because he dropped it. It's because my counter notification went through instead of his, him dropping it. And, but whatever, he sent me the thing because I know what you got to do to do it. Because you lit, because I have a friend that works in copyright, and he literally, um, fuck, man, man, I swear I fucking sent that picture to somebody. Hold on, I'm gonna look for it while I'm talking. So, mm-hmm. um, so I go on one of his streams, and the, the, the nigga is like, uh, oh, fuck it, I'm, I, I, fuck it, I ain't gonna look for the fucking thing. Anyways, so I go on. Okay. With, <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I mean, whatever. So he's streaming, right? So let me just look at. He's streaming one day. So I click on the stream, and it, he has a ten thousand dollar goal for a DNA test. 
And I'm like, and yes. I, I have the picture. So if he's trying to say I'm lying, I can put it up. I have the fucking picture. I'm sure I can find it really quick, sweetie pie. Yeah, okay. So he's all like, yeah, $10,000 for a fucking DNA test. And I'm like, mm. so I hit him up. Let me put my arm up. I hit him up. And I'm like, yo, um, $10,000 for a DNA test? I'm like, you know it costs less, than, like $100 or less for a DNA test, right? And he's like, yeah, I know. But if the people want to... People want people want me to do this DNA test. Uh, they gotta pay, and I said, "Bro, that sound that sound kind of sus, man." Because I mean, you could you could take a hundred dollars your own fucking money and go get a DNA test. So it sounds like he's scamming. So the 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 reason why we're doing this episode again is because this this fucking uh, podcast here didn't they raise money for a DNA test? Yes, at the end of this podcast, they decide to set up a GoFundMe. For Aaron, uh, GoFundMe, uh, it was called Aaron's DNA test at GoFundMe.com. And they raised money for Aaron's DNA test. And at the end of the day, I could not find any evidence that this DNA test uh, was done. They did raise some money, but then the whole site is down. There's no information on what happened afterwards or anything like that. So I find it a little perplexing that he's sitting here trying to raise more money um, after he's already raised money for a DNA test. And at the end of the day, this is a white man. Let's not forget, this is a white man who knows he's white. His sister knows she's white. How does he not know he's white? His daddy knows he's white. His mama knows she white. Everybody else knows they white. Why don't he know he white? And there's nothing wrong with being white. But there is a problem with a white man trying to run around in black face and make money off of it. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. That's bad. Don't do that. Don't be a nuka. Now, I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> let me get closer to the mic. I'm sorry. Because uh, I got this new chair and it's comfortable. And I'm, mm. and, and, anyways, um, I'm looking like Vaughn over here. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> got the fancy chair. So if I take care of my child. Um, the thing is, right? Um, oh, sorry. What'd you do? Sorry, I'm getting text message. Um, what was I saying? I totally forgot. Gosh darn it. I'm the one who smokes weed. You cannot be like this. Yeah, I think I got the ADD though. Um, uh, That's uh, not okay. And no, I can't find this awesome picture. So somebody in the Discord, find it for me really quick and my, send it to it's me. It's on my fucking phone. I know it is. Um, if I email it... God damn it. I need it on my computer so I can pull it up. That's the wait, or did I erase Just it? email it to yourself. Hold up. Man, you are is, such is, a boomer right now. Yeah, I know, right? This is fucking dead noise too. Um You're being a boomer. I love saying? you though. Come on, remind me, what was the last thing I said? We were talking about Nuka and him raising this motherfucking money for his DNA test and the fact that he already know he's a white man, but he's trying to get money gotcha. to prove there he's a white go. man. Perfect. Don't nobody believe you're black, you bitch. Okay, nobody well, believes you. I, okay. I, okay. What she geeks believe is not exactly what I believe. Miss <laughs> Parker, goddammit. What Miss Parker believes is not exactly what I believe. I kind of I kind of still think that he might actually have some kind of body dysmorphia. Oh, there it goes. I found it. There it is. Um, Yay. You know, I think he might have some type of body dysmorphia. Uh, par personally, because we do know that uh, him taking them drugs and everything uh, does leak into his blood brain barrier and can fuck him up pretty bad, right? Yeah, but that's okay. That, okay, if I go with that theory, right? So you're saying that he has body dysmorphia because of the drugs? Because he was wanting to do this no, no, before no, he started doing the drugs. The drugs. I before the drugs. Well, before the drugs, I think he just wanted to get paid. That's all this is. He wanted to get paid because you guys remember back in the day, like when people used to get those crazy tattoos and they would get paid for it or people would do crazy shit and then they get paid like, oh, now you get a lifetime movie and a book deal on some dumb shit. Mm -hmm. Like that's what he's trying to do. And that's why he keeps trying to push for this fucking documentary. You know, that's his book deal. Deal. That's 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 the end of the story. That's what he's trying to do here. You're not you're nobody's Lance Armstrong. I don't know what the fuck is happening. You know, you're you're not even good enough to be a Lance Armstrong. And he was a fucking fraud. OK, you're not even good enough to be that kind of a fraud. So, you know, this is ridiculous. This is ah. Uh, I don't even think Lance Armstrong was a fraud. He just used enhancement drugs. Right. 
Like, yeah, um, he used enhancement he was, drugs he was, he was, when he wasn't supposed to. He was blood doping, which I think, if I'm correct, blood doping is when they, like, they put a bunch of oxygen in your blood. So, you know, like, obviously... If um, the worst yeah. drug ever, I don't want to get high on oxygen. What? Well, that sounds well, horrible. The thing is, well, why, why? You know, when you're when you know when you're running or you're you're, you're you're you know you're breathing heavy, you know you need more oxygen. But think about it, if your blood is already oxygen and rich, you might not be as uh, exhausted. Okay, so it's like okay, so he did. He cheated. Yeah, Never, okay, so him more in stamina. That's the that's the thing. All right, so there it is. He cheated. He cheated his way to a bunch of gold medals, and he cheated his way to a book deal. But you know what? He's still a better cheater than you. He is still a better cheater. I believe so. At least he got up off his ass. God damn it. And I think he survived cancer or some shit, too. So I just, oh, my God, this guy. And then he did another interview recently. With he who? made some kid. He made some kid pay him a hundred dollars to do a bullshit interview. We'll go over that no, one too. One I got that, that one. Oh, the one that. Oh, that one that young kid with the like baseball cap on and shit. Yeah. A hundred dollars for that. A hundred dollars, fifty dollars for every thirty minutes to talk to a piece of shit like him. Oh, and wow. I and for the life of me, look, if there are people that want to do it, go by all means, go go right ahead. But you need to fucking know that this asshole is exactly what the fuck I'm telling you he is. He's nothing but a scammer. Years and years of him fucking people over. He can't sell shit on Amazon because he fucked up with DJ Z made and all his mods and shit. You got a copyright strike on that, didn't you, boy? How do you fucking you bitch? Oh, <laughs> How does it even fit in? Who that is? Best Fetty White quote. If I had a deck, this is where I would tell you to suck it. <laughs> what Wilson, did they, I'm gonna have to fuck Wilson E. Groff Avocado said best Betty White quote if I had a dick this is where I tell you to suck it <laughs> uh, <laughs> coffee is gross it's like stupid. beer what Get the fuck out of here Mrs. D shit beer is delicious, delicious. hey Mrs. D hey girl how you doing Mrs. D girl what are we about mm. to get let me get That's this picture real quick. We we about to get in this motherfucking new. Yeah, so we can have some fun with this. Said so the end of the interview is what everybody wanted to hear too, because that's when we gonna talk about this DNA test, bro. What so the fuck, I, man? man, oh, and guess what? Nuka's live. Isn't that cute? What was he talking about? I don't know. Let's see. Far Cry, and he said hi, Natasha. Hey, Nuka. Oh, he only got four people watching. I'm gonna give him a watch. I'll play him in the background so he can get the extra view. Poor baby. Oh, He only got four people watching him play his little video game. It's in the motherfucking picture. God damn. Oh, man. Everything's fucking up on this stupid ass computer, man. All right, I'm going to get this thing a couple more minutes. And then I don't think it's coming. I don't think it's coming. Am I on the right uh, end? That's what but man, you just, you're killing me, Smalls. Uh, <laughs> Right, you the one that's super high. I'm like, what? what's going on? I'm saying, I'm fuck? about to get high some more. I think I had a blunt somewhere. I lost it. I'm too high to find my weed at this moment, but I'm gonna find it. And uh, I think I know where it's at. There we go. I found it. Fuck it. I ain't got time for this shit. I don't know why. That, of all times fuck right it. now, my motherfucking email doesn't want to work, and I'm getting fucking angry. Oh my, fuck this, man. Anyways, let's get into this stupid ass shit. God, just fucking. Pissing me off. Anyways, all right, here we go. Do we, do we have a time zone? We just everything play? about him is annoying. Yes. Uh, in the beginning, let's go ahead and jump to uh, eight minutes in, so we can talk about that tattoo. All right, eight minutes in. Eight minutes in. Because it's been a while, so you guys probably don't even remember. Now, I'm pretty sure you can, but let me know if you can hear it. No. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Cheeto Gambine, who I believe goes by North God now, though. Cheeto Gambine. Yeah, I believe that's what he used to go by. He was actually it's doing catchy. a shoot that same day. Remember when we did the uh, Two Chains shoot? Yes. World Star was shooting Wait, a video for I him. I forgot to say, isn't he being interviewed by a guy who's a known rapper? Oh, you mean um, Jaron Benton? Yes, yes. Jaron Benton is an, is really good, actually. I like his music. He's absolutely amazing. I have not been able to get him to uh, talk to me for an interview about like how this came about, how close he is to Nuka, and why 
really, I want to know what happened to the money they raised. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to know. I want to, I want him to tell me what happened to the money you guys raised for GoFundMe. Why did it go away? And why is this bitch ass motherfucker still trying to raise money? So somebody has that DNA test. I want it. And I have a feeling Jaren Benton knows where it is. Jaren so if you're Benton. listening, honey, I'm looking for you. Come talk to me. Jaren Benton, that name does not ring a bell. I'll send you some of his music. He's been around for a while. Really? He's an underground rapper. Yeah, underground oh, he's rapper. Underground. He's done. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, he's really good, though. I'm going to find this goddamn picture. All right, I'm going to let this play a little bit while I'm looking for a stupid ass picture. Oh, I guess like, you know, know who I'm shit. talking about, Jaren? I never Cheeto heard of this No. He, I guess he was the How most inside side no rapper the dude the ever. The longest. Nof, Nof. Ritz, no, Ritz, no. yeah, but him, him and Ritz are good friends. Nah, I don't really know too much about the North Side like that. North Side is two sides in Atlanta. What side do with. you know? I, I tell you, I don't oh, fuck with. Not that I don't fuck with him, but I don't know that much about North Side. I know areas and shit, but I don't know about like they shit like that and South Side. Those two areas, you don't I know, know about East Side. Honey, you have the wrong interview. A little bit West Side. That's really it. So you kind of don't know kinda, anything. Yeah, it's, it's just really just East, just yeah. Atlanta oh, wait. and East Side. That's it. Oh yeah, okay. South Side, like all that, like fucking Riverdale, Riverdale shit. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's been on so far south. You're yeah, talking I about. Don't, I don't. Yeah, for even fucking you know College what? Park. I do know about P Street City. You do. Yeah, yeah. sweetie, you have the wrong interview. I don't know how you did that. Uh, Hold on. Oh, oh, yeah. Fairburn, a little Fairburn action. You do. I'm about to send you the right one. No way. I'm even trying. No yeah, I used you to sure live do. as far down as a Griffin, but I don't even know if that. That's like as south side as you can. Yeah, you got the wrong one. Yeah. Until you it's okay, it. sweetie pie. I got you. <sighs> Technical difficulties. What, what you there saying? it is. I just sent it to you. On. Well, on Discord. You're gonna want. Yeah, Discord. I sent it to you in your DMs. God damn it. Poor baby. I swear to God, the link you sent me is the one I downloaded. We might have to just play it live. Yeah. Do it live. Like, fuck it. It won't be that big of a deal. I know this is riveting. Oh, yeah. It's so fucking entertaining. <laughs> You know what I need you to do? Take your shirt off like drag. No. And everybody will be happy. Yeah, horns in the chat for uh, Dries to take off his top. Horns, horns in, the, in chat. the chat. Horns in the chat. Let's make this a thing. I swear to God, that, man. I swear to God, this is the one. Oh my Go eight minutes in and play. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm telling you, hold on, let me listen. Let me hear this. I oh, I'm gonna go. Wait. <laughs> you know, we should have DJ Chris Crisis on. Okay, okay, uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, okay, you got number twelve, F White, right? So mm -hmm. when I click on the link, it takes me to number eleven, not number twelve. No. Yeah. Well, I have number twelve. It takes me right to number twelve. Well, send me that link or Discord. Then. Cause I did. I'll yeah. do it again. Okay, let me grab it again. You sure it's number twelve? I'm doing it right now. There we go again. Copy. I'm copying it. Dropping it. Boom. Okay. Dropped it again. All right. Boom. All right. Hold on. I mean, did you? Hold on. I've literally played it on my computer. All right. So which one, which one am I clicking? All right. So the sure. second one I just sent you, click on it. Same shit. Like whenever I click on whenever I click on any of the links here, it takes me straight to eleven, not twelve. You know what? How about I just share my screen? That's fine. Can I do that? Can yeah. I do that? Okay. Yeah, I think you can. Let's go ahead and share my screen. All right. Let's see. There we go. There's my screen, and we are eight minutes in. Oh my God. Can you hear that? Wait, hold on. <laughs> no, we can't hear. Hold on. Give me one second. One second. Oh, wait, hold on. One second. Give me... No way. No way. Hold on. 
Hold up. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing, bro. Hold I up, I'm up. right here. I played it. I got it. No way, no way. Hold up. That doesn't make any sense. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Then what is this over here? Okay. All right. Whatever. I'm stupid. That was my fault. That was my fault. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened, but like I'm here for this, and I love you to pieces. Horns in the chat, yay! Horns in chat. I'm not even looking at the chat right now, so it doesn't matter. Oh my god, it's so <laughs> eight funny. minutes in. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so stupid. You right know, this now. is where you, okay. you toned it down a little bit. Say I'm transracial, but you don't not. Yeah, I don't, I don't leave it here. Anyways, um, can you hear this? You can hear this, correct? Yeah. Uh -huh. right, Perfect. Let me just close one thing. Don't make fun of me. I'm I'm like Billy. Anyways. Um, oh, oh, no, that, that seems a little too far. And I was like, mm -hmm. she's like, that's like hate crime type it stuff. It kind of is because like, you're promoting murdering yeah. people. Yeah. How, how many know? people did you ask uh, for this tattoo? Did you have any trouble getting the tattoo? I asked uh, three oh people. God. And um, two of them said, hell no, I ain't tatting that ignorant shit. Were they white or black? They were black. One yeah. I only, Before I only want to work. this story. On record, if you was to, if you was to fill out the census report, other. Okay, there you go. Damn, you you what is your yeah, license ready, say? Dude. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> what? I'm shit. <laughs> Brandon's trying to get an audience. Hey, Jaron, I would say uh, if I was to look hey, at this guy, I would say he was Caucasian. Yeah, but you don't identify with Caucasian. See, in some as like that's like another thing to go into. Some people say I identify as this, identify as that, and that's kind of a little bit offensive. And then some people say I'm transracial, which also is a little offensive. And um, it's just like some people say I'm, I just want to be black. I'm a wigger, yada yada yada. All that is kind of offensive because he's a tragic. I am not any of those. I am just black. I'm not white. I'm pigment challenged. I'm not okay. white. I have a melanin deficiency. Ooh. I'm not white. I'm albino. I'm not white. I'm light skinned. I'm not white. I'm ashy. Sounds like a nice rap. Yeah. Mm. He's not white. He's ashy. He's ashy. Now I want you to think about that. All of all of my beautiful colored people in the chat, are you not offended by that bullshit? I'm not white. I'm ashy. Hmm. Hmm. Think about that. That is pretty offensive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've got a, I've got a question. <laughs> He's slowly um, building. <laughs> at, at what point? Okay, because obviously the the reason this is a point of contention for you is because you look like a white guy, right? You know, this is where you get the uh, you know, pe people having their opinions about this because they see a white guy who's just saying he's black. Mm -hmm. When in your life did you did you come to this realization? Okay, so. I always knew it was there and a good way to uh, express to other people to get them to understand is kind of similar to a, 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 a gay person. They whole life okay. knew they were one way, oh, but no. it took certain things to happen in their life to do it. And then like they realized that they were mm. and they told some people once they got close to them, but they weren't open, quite fully open about it. And then more shit goes on in their life. And then they just say, you know what? I'm proud to be me. And yeah. they just come ah, out the and say, hey, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm like, I'm, I'm black. I don't give a yeah. fuck what anybody. What happened? Why are you yelling? Fuck, fuck me. Okay, so he just compared him oh, telling man. his family and friends that he's oh. a black man Somebody to be in gay. I'm going to raise. Wilson says, I'm not drunk. I'm just soberly deficient. Good job, Wilson. I'm proud of you, buddy. <laughs> I no, but think about that shit for a second. This motherfucker is sitting here comparing him waking up one day saying that he's a black man to somebody who's literally born with a certain, you know, sexual swag. Mm -hmm. That is not the same thing. No, it not. is not. Mm -mm. It, there's nowhere near it. It's very offensive. It I is. hate it. It is. No, but we're just being liberal snowflakes right now. I am a snowflake. I, I am. I'm sorry. Snowflakes aren't black. Yeah, they are sometimes if you live in Detroit. Yeah, I'll give you that one. No, <laughs> he has to say about yeah. it anymore. Yeah. 
Okay, <laughs> let me he compared it to coming yeah. out the closet. Yeah. No, that came man. out the black. You know, closet. no, dude. I think that that I think that that You're is in Atlanta, a, so you might. Yeah. Look, I think that that is a very uh uh good analogy. It absolutely is. Um, um, it, what it, what yeah, I want to ask also is, uh, did you grow up in a black neighborhood? All right, now I grew up in a couple different places. But I was first born in New York, and I lived there till I was 11. Uh, Can I ask you where in New York? York? Yeah. Upstate. About uh, an hour and a half. Low. Not quite that high. I oh, was in Orange, Orange County. Okay, gotcha. Um, but it was in the suburbial area, too? and um, the there fuck? was Orange mostly County, like, like white people around. But I met my first friend at daycare when I was, I think, three, and he was two. And he was the only black kid there and besides me. And, you know... I don't know what it was. It just gravitated to him instantly, and we would just always hang out. And then, like, oh, happy birthday, Ali Dean! Happy birthday! It's her birthday. Today. Happy birthday, Ali! We love you, Ali. Horns in the chat for Ali's birthday. Horns right. in the motherfucking chat. Yeah, hail Satan. Yeah. No matter where I went, I had trouble <laughs> in school, so I bounced from school to school. And it's just like looking back on it, it was it was all subconsciously somehow. It's just like uh -huh. always gravitated to. Whoever was black, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And I was just always them. I don't understand it. I went to a private school one year. There was only one black kid in the class. You? And <laughs> besides me, I'm oh, okay. saying, okay, besides okay. me. Okay. Okay. There was only right? one black kid Wasn't there, and he was my that? only friend in that whole school. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Got that? Yeah. He knows what he is. That's why he has to keep catching his motherfucking self. Oh, that's that's the truth coming out, boy. Besides me, because, you know, I'm <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, and it's did just you, like did you so, feel like white people didn't fuck with you? Do you feel like that? I didn't. Was that I honestly, honestly, see the thing is, my parents raised me not to see color, and um, that I didn't shit right know there, there was a okay, difference. Okay, let me pause it. Go ahead. I'm sorry. He said they raised him not to see color, right? Okay, so I find a, I find it real perplexing. Help me understand. I need you to help me, okay, honey? So, <laughs> if you were raised not to see color then why would you grow up wanting to be another color? Because he was already black. But he don't see color. It wouldn't matter what color he was. He could still yeah, be black. Yeah, I, I give you, I give you. <laughs> right? Like, it don't, color don't matter, though. Because I don't see color. Hello, so he Lord. could be like, he could just be himself. Exactly. It's BS, Druid. It's fucking BS. And that's why I'm losing my motherfucking mind. I'm over here losing it. I need another blunt. Okay, oh. let's play. All right in color i didn't know that there were different people i thought you know it was like hair color okay he, he has red hair he has black hair he has brown hair you know what saying people were all the same yes gotcha. and yeah. then i moved to georgia oh changed your whole perception Cold let me ask you this just go back what do, what does your parents think of you identifying as black do they identify as black uh -oh. I I mean they just identify as people I think I mean I don't think they so really your parents say are pretty yeah. liberal. We gotta pause it again. I gotta pause it again. Okay, so if mommy and daddy are people, then why aren't you a people? Oh my God, he's so. We, here love, we go again. I love, it, how, I love how he just dodges all the questions. He doesn't. He never gives an answer. It's just like uh, he could just say it there. They identify as white then, but you said they didn't teach you about color. So why? Exactly. You know, that's funny. Fuck out of here. That's really that's funny. funny. DJ right. Z May needs to go back to making mods. That's what he needs to do. You go back to putting titties on Yoshi. That's what you do. <laughs> you mean Jules? Yeah. Would you consider them like pretty liberal in their way of thinking? Yeah, I mean they they raised me not to see color. You okay. Know? Yeah, that's okay. awesome. Are, you, okay. <laughs> are your uh are they still together? Yes, everyone. Oh. Angry Roach Avocado has a good, a good um. If he didn't, if he didn't see color, then why did he take the injections? I'm saying, if he didn't see color, why did he take the injections? Yeah, because black people don't take injections. In my entire family tree, aunts, uncles, cousins, mm -hmm. everybody has never been divorced and no one has ever had a kid before marriage. Well, see, they're white. That's, see, that's, they're that's, white. that's, that's yeah. some, that's, that's the first point dog. right there, dude. Bad news, like, dog. Yeah. Bad news. Yeah, yeah if you was but, black, but, it would be, you know what I'm saying? You, no one would have a dad, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. yeah. I'm He's sorry. Right. That, yeah. Uh, hey, I, I, I had a lot of friends that were like that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I don't even know if they're really my parents and that's really my family because my whole life,
raped my sister. Oh, my sister. Sister. She told oh yeah, no, keep going. Growing up, that I was always adopted. Trying to fix the. the I wasn't there at birth. Thing. Well, I mean, kind of, I was. But, well, you know, not. I don't. Not really. Know. You didn't see a videotape of this. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I don't know if these are really my family. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Let me turn. Well, I was adopted actually. It's true. But by white people. By white people. It's a little Dominican. He out. said, I don't know if those are my parents because my sister used to tease me when I was little and tell me I was adopted and I wasn't there when I was born. So I, I, those might not be my parents. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Like I used to tease my, we used to tell my sister she was adopted. So I guess she doesn't know that she's really adopted. <clears throat> Like who? Mm -hmm. All right, I don't know who's believing this. Mm -hmm. I know these guys don't believe in this. I'm Everybody with a sibling has said some fucked up shit to their younger sibling before, because that's just how that works. I've heard about it. Older siblings say fucked up shit to younger siblings all the time. You know why? Because you're fucking with their shit. Because you annoy the fuck out of them, so they fuck with you. Mm -hmm. That's just life. Period. I don't know how many times somebody has told me their older sibling told them they hatched out of an egg or they picked him up at the store or we don't know who your real family is. That's what they do to you. My sister used to tell me I was hatched out of an egg. I don't even know if I'm human at this moment. I'm part <laughs> bird. You're like, what the fuck? What? All right. Motherfucker. Here we go. I'm yeah, sorry, well, you got adopted by white people. So, so well, so, it worked out pretty well, I think. Yeah, 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 I'm doing great. To, uh, to get to adopted school, by somebody, uh, I, guess dark, I would yeah. want to get adopted by a, a nice white family if I was to get adopted. Yeah, that's like a fucking '80s yeah. television show. Hell yeah, that's exactly. Like dope. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, why wouldn't you? Exactly. So, so okay. Does your parents identify as white or Caucasian? No, no, angry roach. You gotta help him pay ten thousand dollars to get a DNA test. I guess that's a DNA test for every person in his fucking family. Apparently, well, it's it's pretty much he's saying that his DNA is so in demand. The test itself, people want to know if he is really black so much that it's worth ten thousand motherfucking dollars. Mm. And I find that to be disgusting. I don't know about y'all, but I find that shit to be disgusting. This fucking gingerbread man is running around trying to get people to pay him money to prove he's a gingerbread man. If you don't get the fuck up out of here with this bullshit, mm. this is a bullshit. You know, I have no sounds idea. Sounds like he says they don't really. Do you talk with them at all? Do you live? You talk with them? Do you talk to them? Yeah, I mean, I'm okay. very it's family, a good family, family oriented. Man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm very family oriented. And I'm they, close to my family. Are they down in here in Georgia? Or are they still up in New York? Yeah, they're they're uh, down South Georgia, where I also stay. We stay across town from each other. Okay, so wait, well, um, you <laughs> when did you move from New York <laughs> to Georgia? <laughs> when I was eleven. Okay. Clockwork right Greg said, "I told my younger sister grade. she was a Cabbage Patch doll for years." It's so fucked up. Uh, she just came out of a cabbage patch. Huh? <laughs> They're not even my parents. Oh my god! Uh -huh. What part of Georgia? Balls are dropping. And it's in Millet County. It's a small oh. town called Colquitt. Not Colquitt County. Colquitt town. So you didn't even move in the city. You moved in like. It yeah, was such a small it's town. They didn't oh, have a red shit. light in the town when I first moved there. They Ooh, just got a red light. Horses? They just got a red light a couple years ago, and they don't even need that motherfucker because as soon as you pull up to that thing, it instantly changes. Wow. They yeah. So, so were there any black people in the, in the area where right. you grew up? And, well, well this, let me just short talk about the town. There's no Mexicans, <laughs> no Chinese, no Indians. I don't even think there was any what mixed kids. No. There wasn't even mixed kids at but the was time when I was in school. That's it how you know it. It was just, it was just black and white. Wow. <laughs> that was it. Welcome, Aaron, to the land of white people. Where you belong. <laughs> we are trying to bring you back to your roots. There's like two black families down there. Don't talk to them. Don't talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> Take them some raw ass Trump town. This story shit. is so crazy. I promise you, you're gonna lose it. This story is amazing. Don't it, worry, it's amazing. Don't worry, Aaron. There's cotton fields to the eye can see. Oh, and he talks about going to Africa in this too. Oh yes. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does Africa talking here too. It's, it's I think amazing. We got up this to that great. point in the last episode. But like I said, it's been so damn long, you know. Anyways, Aaron, this is where our family. Anyways. <laughs> 
niggas was picking cotton. Basically. And, and yeah. it was the, the, the cultural shock Makes of sense. it was was the first day of school when I walked into the. They should have did that to him. Since you're black, go out in that field and pick it till you can't stop. You know. Oh God. But I don't want to do that. Oh God. All right, Aaron. Go. Mm. You got to earn this name, Nuka. You have to lose a foot over for that name. Yeah, That's man. what you need to do. How about that? It comes for How about you lose a foot for that word. name? You ready for it? Mm. No, I want to be white. The cafeteria, <laughs> and the blacks were on the left, and the whites were on the right. Mm. I, I was. I, let him talk. Let him finish. By the way, I'm sorry. Thirty one. Okay. 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 So damn, yeah. this was this was this not even you're not even old. So this some damn. It was, so it was, it was like set, no. it was like ninety eight ninety nine ninety eight ninety nine. No, it was two thousand. Think about it. Yeah. It's, uh, it was ninety eight ninety nine. No, you think about it. Um, in uh, in a town with no light yeah. in in Georgia, Again. you know, there's gonna be a, a certain amount of self segregation going on. For the yeah. listeners, you know? if you want to see where it is geographically, look at the state of Georgia on the American map. Go to the very bottom left hand corner. And 20 minutes out is Alabama. 20 minutes out is Florida. That is the part of Georgia we're talking about. I yeah, just want to let everyone know. It's it's longitude and latitude coordinates. <laughs> yeah, I mean, more or less. No, I'm just let them know. We're, we're deep in the sticks. We're close to... We're 20 yeah. minutes from Bama. Okay, 20 minutes. I think... I think... Crazy <laughs> Louis. Oh! <laughs> right. um, I'm sorry, Wilson. I'm not reading that every time. He said, Africa by Toto is still less white than Nuka. <laughs> I still like that song though. Me too. Okay, I I like that song. That song can hang out in my house. This nuka can't. Weezer did a pretty good uh, cover of that too. Mm-hmm. Anyways, back to this nuka here. I think that the town just got a a light <laughs> is enough to know where yeah. you're at. You if know, I okay. want, if I wanted to go <laughs> to a, a movie theater, a mall, yeah. a big uh, restaurant, uh-huh. have to travel an hour. What's a big restaurant? Uh, Chili's? McDonald's? Yeah, Chili's. Chili's? No. Applebee's Chili's? down here. Yes. Applebee's. yes. Yeah. If I wanted to go to McDonald's or, yeah. or anything like that, 30 mm. minute drive. Mm. The only thing in my town was a Hardee's. <laughs> Hardee's. Yes. Shout out to Hardee's. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> I love oh, Hardee's. You, know, you know, get no a huddle, huddle house. No, you know, that, that's oh, no. 30 minutes away. Yeah. But they put the, you know, huddle houses are. Yeah, our... This nigga said a big restaurant was Applebee's. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's a, that's how small this town But for real, for real, this, it's a little, little, little place teeny little place very small population but it is the way that this man describes this place that's fucking hilarious okay it has a hardy's but it's segregated as fuck so think like hardy's in 1920 you know what i mean that's what's happening it's like the applebee's and there might be a whites only section and a blacks only section and you know he always hung out with the with the blacks you know because because that's who he is they didn't like that Okay. All right. Maybe mm-hmm. true. Though. That's crazy. Are in the you know shout out to Huddle House too. Why did your family move from upstate New York that's to where down my, south? That's where my uh, grandfather, my mother's father, was born and lived till he was like eighteen, nineteen. Then he went into the military and, and navy, and then he went up north and settled there. He got old, and in ninety three, he retired down south, took back to his hometown, and I would come down every summer to hang out with him. Yeah. And I kind of liked it down there. I was having problems in school up in New York, and things just happened. My mom's job, GMAC, uh, GM, yeah, GMAC shut down. So uh, there's there different things happened, and my grandparents were getting old and sick. So we decided to move down to be closer to them. What's GMAC? Uh, G- uh, G- General Motors, General- something, something. Oh, okay. I mean GMAC. Uh, the, the, yeah. the, no. It was General GMAC. Mo- oh, GMAC. It's like a car company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. General Motors. Yeah. So okay. similar. Gotcha. General Heard of it? Yeah. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Okay. So you. I'm sorry, I cut you off. Go ahead on. So you were down there. Where you moved I? down there. Okay, let me let me bring it back. You were down there. You you moved down there. You were eleven. You were checking out the school cafeteria. The okay. fact that that okay, was yeah. still segregated yeah. in the late nineties by whatever you know for whatever reason. See, so, and what happened was you know I tried to be friends with everybody, you know, and uh, it worked out for a little while, but then the white people just kind of was like, we go for the revolution, know, kind of just like pulling away and started like calling me a, a nigga lover. And throwing the rebel flag in my face, they saying that they were gonna hang me with my coons. You yeah. know, they were they they. I go to the fucking bathroom. I come back. I have rebel flags drawn on my book. You know, teacher walks out of the class. They draw it on the board, and they like, look at this, Aaron. Look at this. Look at this. The South will rise again, and we gonna slave you just like the mother motherfuckers. You know, it's like damn. I I got that shit all the fucking mm. time, and it's like 
No. I got ridiculed well, and, and then I, think so, I got ridiculed really bad and the blacks saw what they were doing to me. And they the just blacks. like was like, Don't worry, bro. Don't the worry, bro. We got the blacks saw what they were doing. The blacks. Not, not my Do you know how many people. times he said the blacks? The blacks. Yeah, not my people. I hung out with the blacks. The blacks. That sounds kinda sounds a like a racist southern oh no. Anyway. Got you. No, we got that you. because you were from New York. You were from the north. No, and I think it was because he was he, he was he was getting roasted. He was uh, and realizing people, there's going to be some good people. And there's going to be good people. Mm -hmm. He's getting roasted. Right. Well, it's because you're the only white guy in the. Uh, around. I was the only white. Did you, ah, did you dress? Oh, 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 oh! I was the only. Okay. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Did you catch it? Did y'all catch that? I just that's why I had to lean back because I knew it was coming. Did you uh, catch it? Let's go back a little bit. Let's hear that again. Hold on. Oh shit, I went too far. He I'm going, I gotta lean back. Too much. Yeah, I think this is good. They just like was like, Don't worry, bro. Don't worry, bro. We got you. Now, we was got that you. because you were from New York. You were from the north. No, I think it was because he was he, he was roasted. He was okay. uh, realizing people, there's blackness. gonna be some good people. And there's they, gonna be good people. Mm -hmm. He's getting roasted. Right. Well it's because you're the only white guy in the uh, around. I was the only white guy. Did you, ah, did you dress? Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! I was the only okay. light skin person. Wait, 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 wait! To clarify, light skin did to, to clarify in their eyes. Deficient. Look, uh, when mm. when I say when I say you as a white guy, mm. I'm saying within their Got eyes. Got him. Yeah, they're kind of Got him. They're kind of playing him. They're playing him. Uh, got him. I don't know. I, that's why I need to talk to Jaren. I need to talk to him. I don't know if they're playing him or if they're a part of this. I don't know. Somebody saying hi. I just don't know. Oh, somebody saying what's up to Miss Parker? Mm -hmm. Hi, Miss Parker. Hi. Hmm. <laughs> they see a white person. I was the only person. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm I not brung. Saying yeah, I yeah. I brung baggy brung. clothes and like the hip hop right. style okay. for 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 the people so that were he's talking about early. jorts. Yes, for the people jorts. of That's my jorts. complexion. Oh, yes, yeah. and um. So it was good. different, you know. And that same thing with my sister. She but, wore but, but clothes that, they, that nobody ever did, and then I was the only I'm one that like rap. You know? How do you fuck an oh, elephant? Super chat. Oh, super how chat. does it even fit in? Skipping the rest. I see you, Shadow Chick. Oh, was it Shadow Tigger? I see. You. <laughs> he always watches my fucking game streams, and God, God help me if uh, voice to text is on. You know what I'm saying? Right. All is the that why she said you were adopted. Who, is she an older but sister? Or older, older. Sister, but older. If you're not in a deep country, older. that was normal for Look, like I feel like Caucasians to dress. So no, no, listen, yeah. he yeah. was in the yeah. country though. He was in the country. He's, he's, like all Yo, the white people sticks. are basically yeah. rednecks. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Tight pants. You know, so, cowboy so boots look, and yeah. all that so shit. So yeah. this is why because there's you know you you come from this small isolated place where everyone is the same. You have how do you, you have fucking elephant? Super chats. How does it even fit? Super chat. Snow, the Canadian singer who sings Informer, is blacker than Nuka. Damn. Snow, the Canadian singer who sings Informer, is more yeah, yeah. blacker than Nuka. Yes, absolutely. Damn. I applaud that. I Damn. second that statement. Damn. Approved. Um, I can't read your name, but thank you for that. <laughs> Self -segre segregation going on. And you... Um, I you know, identifying as is black, being black, uh, they see you as a white person, and so you're just an easy fucking target for them to get out whatever bullshit is inside of them that makes them want to hate. You know, like you're different, and so everyone that's always different, especially in that small town kind of setting, is gonna stand out way more because that's your that world is yeah, a the, bubble. The, you know, a total bubble. I mean, I, I I like was really getting like popular. Okay. And the fact that I was different, you know what I'm saying, especially to the to you know my fellow black people, that was like it? the girls would come up to me all the time. Let me ask you fucking this. the bitches, Wait, right? No, nah, well, I mean, I was in seventh grade. I wasn't fucking yet. I was. I, it I was eighth grade. Out of here, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Not. I was getting. I didn't fuck until I was seventeen, dude. That's crazy. I lost my virginity. <laughs> you white pussy. Yeah. I lost mine at fourteen. I lost I was mine 13. in seventh grade. Right. Well, Real Jaren talk. wins. And consistently, I was fucking with chicks consistently. Okay, good for you. I just want to. Wait, I don't there. like the fact that you. What? Why did you just automatically <laughs> defend against the fact that someone was going to say you were fucking dudes the whole time? No, you're like, I was consistently fucking chicks. Only <laughs> fucking <laughs> chicks. I was consistently. No, I'm sorry. Like, no, no, no. What? 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I just really like this part of the interview. <laughs> it's so weird. It, well, it's so weird. Who says that? Who says, oh, yeah, ever since I've been fucking chicks, like I've been consistently fucking chicks. <laughs> That's such a weird caveat. Like he slept one necessary. day, he's like, oh, I might fuck this guy. No, no, no. Consistently fucking no. chicks. <laughs> no, ch- only chicks. I am delivered. I am delivered. I only like women's. I don't like men's no more. I will not wear a purse. Oh, my God. Ugh. <laughs> I meant that in the sense of I was what? consistently <laughs> fucking chicks. Like, oh, uh, yeah. in oh, my okay. head, I wasn't. Sorry. No, I, I heard, wasn't thinking anything. Yeah. I heard, I heard yeah. the pronunciation. Yeah, I was consistent. Like, from, I was, since I got the time you. I got, I got you. laid, no, okay. I was consistently I got you. fucking you're, women. Yeah, you're, you're, you're not a subject. You're, a little loud. you're not yeah. special. You're not a unicorn. Okay, <laughs> you're a bully ass. Zeus, I got. I go on for you. Have you exclusively dated black chicks? So weird. That is a weird way to say that. Like, since I've been fucking chicks, I've been consistently fucking chicks. Like. <laughs> like who are you talking to who is that for why are you making that caveat why okay. are you being so specific okay buddy did you get drunk one day and <laughs> exactly i feel like he did something and he just needs everybody to know that it didn't happen that's what i feel like that did was. you do come on tell the truth did you do ecstasy and you know rub on you know hector's leg come on you can tell us Ever, I always okay. Now, now, so right. have you ever dated a white chick? Let's yes, well, that's, you that's lose your virginity to. No, 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 stop one at a time. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain <laughs> all those questions. I'm gonna give you a brief, pat, well, history of my dating. Yeah. Let's run it. It, I wanted to date black girls, but it just didn't quite happen. Mm-hmm. You know, I got, you know. Tease, I wonder tease, why. Like, you know, they brothers fun of and me. cousins would they would, beat they the would, shit they, out they of would, you. No, no, they would, they would like you know tease me a little bit, call me cute and all this stuff like that. But this one girl that Tanya Riggins, man, Ooh, she Tanya had Riggins. shout out, she, Tanya. shout out to Tanya <laughs> Riggins, baby. She had that sounds like a dox to me. But. Fucking just man, that <clears throat> attitude. You know what I'm saying? It just turned <clears throat> me on like <clears throat> she the baddest bitch and everything. And like I asked for her number, and she gave it to me. I go home. I call it, and it's the police station. <laughs> <laughs> Be with your people. Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry. I yeah. I'm sorry, Zeus. That was. Hey man, everybody's Dan, got some Dan shit like got that. Played for some ice cream or yep. some shit once. Yeah, talked about on the some podcast. Some chicks gave me a wrong Don't address, that, man. and I went and showed up walk, knocking on this house. <laughs> and uh, luckily, they were just trying to make a fool of me, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, no one was home. But then I finally figured it out that her and her friends were fucking with me. Mm. So I feel you, dog. That actually yeah. kind of happened to yeah. me one yeah. time. Yeah. The, but so, no one answered the door, though. I'm knocking on the apartment. I'm like, I just texted you like five minutes ago. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, what the fuck? But, uh, okay, to finish my story. Yeah, let's run it back to when you were in uh, the Yeah. So all the girls would just come up to me. I wasn't, like, out there chasing the girls. I was just doing school. You know what I'm saying? And the girls would come to me like, hey, I want to be your, your girlfriend, blah, 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 blah. So I was like, okay. And then I had her as a girlfriend, and then this girl was like, I was like, okay. So I had like five, six girlfriends at a time all the time. They just didn't know about each other. But they only lasted like a couple of weeks because they'd find out about each other. And be like, I didn't give a fuck. Yeah. You I mean, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you pimp. You're, you're, middle school. You're, out there. you're not a good black man. Yeah, you know, middle, middle, yeah middle school. But anyways, <laughs> uh, half white, half Mexican girl was the only one that stuck around. Mm. And even though I had all these girlfriends, she stuck around for a while. And we ended up dating for re- Even though I didn't really like her, I would like hide from her. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I was embarrassed by her because... She was a little on the fugly side, you know. Oh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Just a little yeah. bit. I you know, feel a white Mexican girl on the you. fugly side. What was she? Fat hey, as fuck. She, no. she was a little overweight. She had a okay. pop tart body. No, no, she was just a little overweight, and I didn't, I didn't like overweight girls. I like yeah. overweight girls. But she, the fact that she stuck around for so long, we kind of got a little bit of attachment, and then I was like, I was like, hey, girl, you need to give me some pussy. All my friends are getting you pussy. You totally like that? <laughs> yeah. Not, hey, girl, you need to give me some pussy. Hey, no. you know that's how you get it. <laughs> That's how you get it. You know what I mean? Everybody else getting some. Why can't I get none? That's what them incels be saying. If you ain't going to give me no motherfucking pussy, like, you ain't going to let me rub up on that honey bun booty. And bitch, why you looking at come me? Come on, girl. I just want to suck a butt cheek. Up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> some incel shit. No, excuse me. Fake incel shit. Anyway. Fake incel shit. I'm paraphrasing. Paraphrasing. He's paraphrasing. But, you know, I was like, I was like, we, you didn't. Oh my god, he just he just did a G manism. Did he do a G manism? I'm not he said he didn't say paraphrasing, I'm power phrasing. He did say power phrasing, yes. Wait, wait, just let me just let me go. Hold on. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen out, drag, because we all know drag knows that shit. He's power phrasing. Yeah, yeah middle school. <laughs> but anyways, uh, half white, half Mexican girl was the only one that stuck around. And even though I had all these girlfriends, she stuck around for a while and we ended up dating for re even though I didn't really like her, I would like hide from her. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I was embarrassed by her because she was a little on the fugly side, you know. Oh, yeah, so, man, just a all, little yeah. bit. I feel you. a white Mexican girl on the fugly side. Like what was she? Hey. As fuck? <laughs> she was no. she was a little overweight. That, she had a okay. Pop Tart body? No, no, she was just a little overweight and I didn't I didn't like overweight girls. I like yeah. overweight girls. But she, the fact that she stuck around for so long, we kind of Got a little bit of attachment, and then I was like, I was like, hey, girl, you need to give me some pussy. All my friends are getting you pussy. You told her like that? Nah, yeah. I'm okay, power really power right. Let's see, the mud broke for two dollars. Said, you, wait, you don't ask for it, you don't get it. Oh, I mean, yeah, close mouth don't get fed at the end of the day. So, I mean, yeah, I guess. Uh oh. Reason. But you know, I was like, I was like, we, you didn't give me some pussy. All my friends again, some. She wouldn't give me uh, none. And I was like, all right, well, this is over. I can't. Yeah, I this is old girl you cool. told me about earlier about the doorknob. No. Oh, okay. this is a different girl. Who did you lose your virginity to? This White girl, girl black girl, this girl. Uh, half Mexican. Half Mexican. Half See, I broke up with her, and then a month later, I'm hearing that she's fucking people in the bathrooms and stuff like that. And then I will go to her, and Sounds I'm like, right. I'm like, hey, what's up? And then, then you know, we we got back together and we started fucking. Okay. And then it just so happened that mm -hmm. when I got out of her, you know. I had a relationship with her. It was like a year and a half. Um, the next girl just happened to be another. Oh my god, another half Mexican, half white girl. You got. Just hate. I wanted. Like I wanted. And dwarves. But it was the same bitch. No, it just Grannies. so happened to that. And then <laughs> that lasted happened? like two and a half years. And then after that, I needed some time to get over that because that was my high school sweetheart. Hold on, did a couple I go years back to get over that? And then it was just all black after that. I have I no idea. Who's your first black? Who's your first black girl? Oh, excuse me. I won't first, <laughs> first black girl. I used to fool around. He did say power phrase. No. Around with and he make did out say with. Phrase. I'm a power phrase. <laughs> oh my god! Let <laughs> me power <laughs> phrase. <laughs> No first power phrase I ever kissed shit. was Shanika Henderson. She was a that senior, name. and mm. I was in eighth deal. grade. Hey, I got one for you. I'll, actually, a lot of the girls that were in eleventh and twelfth grade used to let me play with their titties and oh. rub on their thighs and shit yeah. like that. When you were I in, guess they, they, they thought I was school. yeah. I was, when I was in eighth grade, dude. Yeah, uh, hey, I will tell you, yeah. when I was in kindergarten, Malika came up to me and showed me her titties, and I did not know what was going on. Her chest. I don't understand this either. There's no titties in kindergarten, you nasty motherfucker. Yeah. These people just showing titties. You know, this is what we do out there in this small ass country. Everybody just is just showing off titty meat and 10, 12 years old just out here humping on shit. I don't, man. Y'all nasty. Okay. Her, she her, had, her, she yeah. had some little her children's kind of like body. Puffy. No, they were like puffy, like nipples you know oh yeah. what are they putting in the water in those but we were in class and she was like look at my titties she said that real oh, talk wow. that was a, ch a white yeah, real chick talk. No, shout out to her, no. her uncle her name, who we should her name's Malika. Shoot. we was in hey, third Jesus grade she would let everybody stand behind her and hump her weird yeah yeah. there like, was a lot of fast to be fair I used to, like I used, I used to pay, pee, pie. I used to pie through a lot of Mexican girls legs at the YMCA in Southern California in about 91 WYMCA W one where it's all women, only women. This is creepy. This is very cringy, creepy. Just like his fucking mods are cringy, creepy. This dude is fucking weird. Okay, mm. listen to me when I tell you he's fucking weird. All right, you, wait. You said the gambling's broken. All right, give me one sec. I, I've noticed that this fucking thing. Happens. Gambling, they can't gamble. Yeah, Hold on, make sure it doesn't. All right, everyone all right, wants to gamble. Ugh, excuse me, moi. Have might... you heard of the cult of lulls? Oh, explain for the folks. I can't. The only way to get in is just to know somebody who's in and then ask for instructions. But you guys should join the cult, the cult of lulls. It's amazing. Oh. It's an amazing cult. Sounds like a pyramid scheme. Excuse me. Nobody's asking anything of you no other than to just be you, man. Right. Just be you. I'm allowed. Oh. No, you won't. My grandmother right there. It's a, it it's looks a weird situation. It, no, it's Flick not, actually, it's not me. Flick's actually won. Yeah. So no, it's, 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 it, it's hard to explain. My grandmother worked there. There's a weird uh, daycare center. Wait, wait. Your grandma worked there. 
And yeah, the you were ones, banging yeah. all the women there. I was <laughs> fucking <laughs> three. I was three. Oh, I was shit. two or three years old. I, I was taking that pause weird button ass button in a second. Thoughts. Oh, I got you. Um, yeah. And Have like, you ever fucked a white girl? Me? Yeah. A couple. I mean, I don't think that's nowadays. You know, that's but here. nowadays, I mean, let me tell crazy. you this. Hold on, let what me tell you, you this though. Why? I'm just gonna pause it now. It's about to pop up. <laughs> Can I come? see one today? <laughs> just give me one today. <laughs> All this TTY talk. <laughs> Okay, Chris, I ain't going to be mad at you. They are talking about titties. So, yeah, he had to, he had to hit a one titty. So, what, what titty? $10. There you go. One titty. One titty. Oh, my goodness. The black. Oh, the darker the skin, the black. Uh, the, the berry. Is that even a He's question? He's been to the the skin, the skin, like, like, can't even. That is, that is like a staple quote in the black community. It's the darker the berry, you finish it. The darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Yes. <laughs> and what did he say? <clears throat> One more time. What, what did he say? Shit, I don't even fucking remember to tell you too. Hold on. Because <clears throat> I suck at this. I suck at listening. <laughs> there, there it naps on cots. It's coming. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Um, yeah. And Have like, you ever fucked a white girl? Me? It's coming. Yeah. A couple. A couple. I mean, I don't think that's nowadays. You know, but nowadays, I mean, let me tell racist. you this. Hold on, let what me tell you, you this though. White or black? Oh, the darker the skin, the blacker Dude, the berry. Is that even a He's question? He's been to Africa. Look, I mean, <laughs> let's, wait, let's, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. The darker the skin, the blacker the berry. Coin that. Somebody write that down because I'm high. So okay, just write it down. Somebody stick a pen in it. Yeah, I don't have a pen. I would write it down. I'm not gonna remember. <laughs> The darker the skin. Hold on, I got a highlighter here. Whoever writes it down in the chat first gets 100 points. Yeah, you got to remind me of that. Somebody got to write that down. The dark, you got to write that shit down. <laughs> the darker the skin, the, the blacker the berry. Misty the got it. There you go, it. Misty. Jeez. The darker the skin, the blacker the berry. There it is. Woo. <laughs> the darker the skin, the lower your credit score. Mean? <laughs> what does that mean? So stupid. Anyways, let me Shit. answer this real quick. Let me answer this real quick. All right. Uh -huh. For instance, I was with a, a light skinned girl just the other day. Yeah. My neighbor. I had <laughs> yes. I had a little trouble getting up for the first time. I was uh -huh. like, I was like, I was like, is she on, pegging? Wake up. Wake so up. you prefer yeah, them like, black? Or, but uh, yeah, wasn't like, really black, black enough? Yes, she was not black. You want? You, but anyways, anyways, like, anyways last black, last black. white girl that I was with. Uh -huh. Was one of my exes from the girl I lost my virginity to. Yeah. Um. That was in like 2009. Okay, hold on. Shadow, Shadow Tigger said, "Put that on a shirt." <laughs> <laughs> put yes, you put that on a shirt. That is amazing. The darker the skin, the blacker the. <laughs> Where's D? D needs to get us some graphics for that shit. Where the hell is D? You know what? I. You know what? I'm gonna start ranting. Let's finish this, but maybe we'll talk. All right, about let's that. do it. Yeah, let's maybe, do it. Maybe shout out ticket. Maybe I'll put that on a shirt if y'all motherfuckers buy some shirts. How about that? Mm -hmm. Ain't no point putting shit on a shirt. Or ain't no way to buy it. But that's funny. That is hilarious. I, I might just make that for myself and buy it. I think it was 2010, somewhere around there. I was decade. single. She was single. I had nobody to fuck. She was like, "Hey, you know, blah blah blah. We should hang out." I'm yeah. like, "Okay, I'll sneak in your bedroom you know, window you, you and fuck dick, you." You dick don't see race sometimes, you know. What I mean? and, and, yeah. I just wanted to get a quick nut. I didn't know at the time, so I go and I could not fucking just. I kept going limp and like so not all the way limp, but halfway limp. And I'm like, drunk? I would no. Huh. I just wasn't really that into it You're with her. Headspace, yeah. And then I had to fake my nut. And I was like, okay, I'm you done with this. It. The man Why? faked the nut. Wait, wait, wait. Was he it cannot she wasn't, come with white women. Was it because she wasn't black? I just wasn't attracted to her. Even though, even though, chicks, even though that we fucked like my whole sure. teenage years. I mean, that's just, you know? okay. Still come. You know, still come. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she didn't age well, you know. I was, and I was, after that, I was like, I knew it. I was like, I know it, man. I just, I just cannot be with a white girl anymore. It's just, it's just, it's not for me. What is it about I mean, I feel a that. white girl that you don't like? Man, I don't. They I are think, ugly as fuck. Okay, here, no, here, no. Jeez. No, okay. Christ. What do you hey, sorry, y'all. Hold on. I, Hold on. Wait, 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 queens, wait, wait, man. Wait. They clean. Let me get in here. Let me get in here. Y'all hear that new? Y'all, 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 niggas hear that? Mm -hmm. All you white women in the audience is ugly mm -hmm. as fuck. To the gingerbread man. To the gingerbread man who literally looks like a sandal, one of those Burke sandals. That have just been left outside for a really long time, like your grandpa's Burke that's sitting on the back porch. You look like that, motherfucker. That's what your skin looks like. 
And it looked like he had a bunch of landmines go up in his face. So he got hit with some <clears throat> shrapnel or something. Oh, you mean all so, oh, those wonderful craters? Yeah, gross. Uh, I don't think that you really, you really you don't see this. white girls aren't ugly as fuck. I don't think black girls are. I ugly might I might be exaggerating. That's a, a bit of bit. exaggeration. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't find them attractive. But actually, white sure. women to me are invisible slash men to me. Let me wow. say this: Jason, oh. my manager, amazing, is not attracted okay, to white women, and he's white. Sure. I, I think there's nothing wrong with that. that. Yeah. 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 Everyone's yeah. attracted yeah. until later in life. Everyone's. Yeah. Okay, so he said white women are invisible slash men to me. Mm-hmm. And did he not lose his virginity to a white woman? So he's gay. I'm just saying, out for his logic, okay? Not that I believe this, just his logic. Hmm. Yes, he's gay. I'm saying. Yeah, it sounds like he might be a little fruity there. Oh my goodness, hold on. Which is nothing wrong with that. You need to just be yourself. Oh, of course. Of course there's nothing wrong with that. Who said there was anything wrong with that? Did you? No. Okay. I think I figured out the problem with the gambling, y'all. So hopefully so it'll happened? start. I'll, I'll tell you all. <laughs> it'll make me look smart again. The attractions I can, are I, different. I like all types of and, women. Well, well, sure, me too. But I don't think that so do uh, that so anyone's preference of of women that they are attracted to is really really uh, matter. You know what I mean? It's like. You like black girls. You like black girls. If yeah. you like, if something Absolutely. about Asian girls really know. makes you like Asian girls, then that's just what you feel. You, you know? want? You want to know a fun fact? Uh, yeah. I yes, hate. I, yeah. I hate black girls that date white guys, and I hate white guys that date black girls. Why? Why? Oh. <laughs> hmm. Isn't he white? <clears throat> And doesn't he want to hump up on black girls? And then, it, that brings me back to that clip he flagged me in. It's like, you're talking about a white guy in the hood dating white women with cornrows, and that's the mirror image of you. Yeah. But he doesn't see and that. you're upset about it. No, because he's pissed off about it. He's mad. This Ugh. is some next level shit right here. Y'all been wondering why I've been so mean to this little bitch ass boy. This is why. Because mm. I heard this. <laughs> was this the first thing you heard from him? Uh, no, there's other things. There are so many other interviews you guys haven't seen yet about this bitch. Like, he's such a horrible person. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Wow. He, he doesn't see it. That's the worst part. Wait. Listen. I just, I don't like, I don't know. I honestly never sat and thought about it. I mean. Mm. The white guys, I just think they should leave my women alone. Mm, okay. Stick with my your own women. motherfucking women. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And the black girls, it's just like, they just are different. You know what I'm saying? Their mentality, the way they are, it's just like, they seem so crazy. And I hate white girl, uh, black girls that try to come to me and try to date me that only date white guys. And I'm like, I'm uh. just not into you. The way your personality is, the way you are, I, the fact, you know, I just, it's just, I don't know. It's just Can something about this? them. Can I ask you about what do you, what do you think about white women and black men? And, well, you know, I don't like it because I want to keep our genes strong, right. but you know, I ain't really worried about it. I mean, it's like wh- whatever you, you do it. Not hate. You're not hate. Yeah, yeah. Hate about it. yeah. I don't sense. understand. Yeah, can go ahead. You talk because I'm gonna point something out. I'm a little. I don't know. You go ahead. You go ahead. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> there's a lot of layers to this shit, right? Okay. Yes. All right, so he does not have a problem with black men fucking white women at all. No problem Mm. with it whatsoever. The genes, he doesn't necessarily want them to mix, but it's not a big deal to him. But he will not stand for a white man impregnating a black woman and tainting our gene pool. Mm. What I hear as the black woman is that you want to take possession of me as if I am something to be possessed, which I am not. It has never happened. My husband can't do it. He gets pissed off about it. Hey, what the fuck do you mean? I find that to be quite insulting. And I just wanted to go ahead and point that out in case you motherfuckers missed it. Oh my God. 
it's just hypocritical. Yeah, black guys can do whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? They can just fuck. They can just fuck as many white chicks as they want. No problem. But black, uh, black women with white men. <gasps> It's terrible. I don't. I don't even want to date black women that date white men because I mean it's disgusting. I'm like, you white nigga, what the fuck? If someone shined a light on you, would blind everybody. Like, what are you talking about? You know? <laughs> God, man, what's wrong with him, man? I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't. Do you really think he's? Do you still think he don't have some kind of mental issue? No. Even if he does, okay. Even if he does, his family has tried to get him help. His family is it has it, yeah, his family would be well enough to do to be able to get him the help. I don't have any doubt in my mind that if he was mentally impaired in some way, shape, or form, his family would not try to help him. Mm-hmm. They love him dearly. Okay. So that would not be a problem. I do not believe he has a mental illness. No. I believe he's a fucking lazy ass little boy mm. who grew up with everybody taking care of him and he never learned any real life skills. He didn't graduate high school and now here he is in his thirties pushing those nice 40s and he has no prospects he knew that then he knows that now he's desperate he wants to make money somehow he's a fucking con artist that's why he's talking about doing his mods again because he could probably make a little bit of money but i'll still be there and i bet you get a copyright strike on that shit wonder what game you're gonna try to pass a fucking pirate this time you little bitch (laughs) yeah let's put a bunch of like hentai and like Porn chicks with their butts spread open in the game. Like, what fucking the fuck? gross. Saying <laughs> why, but I'm like, hey, it's more black woman for me. Yeah. <laughs> you got him right. That's a good okay, way to. And I keep trying to bring this up. I'm gonna say it again. Zeus went to Africa for a minute. For Ooh. real. Yeah, he went on a fucking. About 15 months. Wow. Yeah. 15 months. Wow. Ooh. That's a year and plus. By myself. Months. The whitest man in the world went to the blackest place on earth. Kenya. Yes, what did. were you doing over there? living life and i get okay. so offended when people be like oh you went on a missionary oh blah blah blah, blah. What, the, only, the only yeah, no, 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 no i'm not saying no, you no, but like no, random people no. be like that and i'm like what the only reason that someone has to go to africa well, is because of a missionary no, or that's something not true. Like that? that's not true but, uh, but i can th- see where you're coming from because because that's where peace corps goes that's yeah. where people go like when you go to africa it's often a human humanitarian reason for people in america to go to africa so i don't i don't think that's necessarily gonna pop off it it, that assumption but why did Some you go, do. But why did you go there many reasons <laughs> uh, a couple of them a couple of them uh ever since i was knee high i always wanted to go yeah um i mean i love animals and wildlife and i just love africa you know what i'm saying i always was fascinated of it oh. when i was growing um somebody tried to gamble because it looks like the body's working now no and then you know i got a little older you know started learning about roots you know what I'm saying? And then I wanted to go to the motherland, you know, and the find father. out about Pause. my roots and find out Not about the father, everything. You the know? fatherland was it? Once okay, again, so if you caught something. that, keep going. Just, keep just going. if you caught it real quick, he went ahead and said that he he learned about Africa and the animals and how beautiful it was, and then he watched the movie Roots, and he decided he wanted to go to the motherland. If that shit don't sound like some fucking asshole bullshit, I don't know what it is. He got a fetish. He saw some he saw some really good slave movies and he got a weird fetish for being black and he just described it to you. That's why he wanted to go to the motherland. He's like, I have to go to where Kunta's from. Kunta. Yes. Kunta I got to go. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Owen. He's not mentally ill. He's living a dream. He's living a movie. He's trying. He's literally trying to make a movie. <laughs> well, I want to go to the Fatherland, Deutschland. <laughs> <Nein. Good. Yeah. laughs> Friend that also went out there and uh, or ex, and she told me, you know how different it is out there than people always think. Mm. You know what I'm saying. So I wanted to go also experience it myself, and then on top of that. One one of the reasons why I chose Kenya is part of the reason I wanted to go to Africa is why not Wakanda, <laughs> dude. Shut the fuck up, man. God keep damn telling it, your story. You're you're bad. We're gonna kick you off this podcast, I think, dude. <laughs> I will anyway, this um, podcast. <laughs> I wanted to go somewhere where there was no white. Shit, I want to go to Wakanda. <laughs> Never come back here. <laughs> white people. I mean, in general, did you ever get a chance to go to Africa? Have you ever had a chance to go, like an opportunity in your life to have enough money? relative be able to take you to africa has that ever presented itself to you okay how much is the ticket to africa 
I'm not entirely sure. I know I've never been presented with the opportunity to go. Like, like it just, you know, the timing never works out. I got life to live, you know. I mean, I've there's been, always something going on. I've been to South America. I mean, if it's anything related to that, I could probably go, you know. Okay. Yeah. See? South, South America, it depends on what time of the year you want to go. The tickets go up and down, but I, we paid a pretty penny to fly there. But once you get there, your money is like three times as much, you know, so. There's a bonus. There yeah. you go. Yep. So. You're not spending that much money once you get there. Yeah. Uh, that's like my Kenya. my heaven. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And Kenya has very few white people. They actually Bass have runners. like kind of their own townish. They're, well, on the coast, there's a lot of white people, which I didn't ever went to. All and right. then there's this town called uh, Karen, which a lot of white people in the Westlands. That's mm -hmm. where like the white people mainly stayed at. And I stayed away from those areas. Right. I mean, I saw like that's a one white person like once a month, once every other month. And it was just in passing really quick. You know what I'm saying? I was, it was so. Lauren makes a good point. How did he afford to live there for a year? I know. That's all really, really good questions. Mm -hmm. Don't you have some news on like the the area he was living in? And... Remember? <clears throat> so we found out which area he was living in. And okay. Yes. It's uh it is predominantly Caucasian, very wealthy families. Um, come to find out one of his relatives has a place there. Now, I don't doubt that, you know, maybe he went there and he had some money on him. His parents helped him get over there. He had a good time. He spent a year and a few months. You know what I mean? So he was over there very comfortable. Most people go on vacation, even on a missionary. The missionaries don't really last more than six or seven months, you know. Mm. But then again, I don't understand. You know, I, he's never really been able to explain it. Even when he was on the last uh, the last time, he did he dodged around the question repeatedly. He didn't want to admit anything. He didn't want to confess anything. So, you know, some things are still up in the air. Mm, okay, all right. Hmm. Basically, it's sus as fuck. It's just sus, right? Super sus. Super sus. Because right around this time, he was also his number and his home was related to a bunch of scams going on with Western Union. Hmm. So there's a lot of issues going on with him around this time. Did he go to Africa off his Western Union money? Possibly. <laughs> it very well could be a possibility. I can't. I It's allegedly. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and put that out there. Allegedly. Allegedly. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. want to make any positive claims. You know? <clears throat> no positive claims, none. Okay, okay. Mm -mm. So were you working out there? I feel like it was looking at no, Dr. Dre. No, not Angela. really. Not really. And yeah. the, uh, one other reason I'll share with you how, why I went there is I fucking am cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I love uh -huh. black women. Okay. And just think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there you go. That makes sense. He wasn't working, but he's uh, able to stay there for a year. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, uh, That's baptized, super sus. Baptizing fire. Mm, I got to look at the... I haven't played a Hitman game in so long. I don't know if I want to buy it and then not play it, so I got to look it up, man. But possibly, I, I know, I know it is coming out tomorrow. <laughs> Excuse me. Who like loved? Fucking, if you yeah. loved candy, would you not want to live in a candy store? Hey, man, Willy Wonka's I, fucking house. That makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. So how I, did the, how did the black people there gravitate toward? Did they? What did what did they? They treat you as a yeah. king. Oh, yo, it, they it, treat it, you it, good, okay. or did you? It, my time in Africa was some of the best times of my life. And some of the worst times of my life. Mm -hmm. Break it down. On which end? Okay. <laughs> Dad, don't listen to Jaren's questions. <laughs> what, <laughs> what? <laughs> what's what's the worst time? What's the wor what's the good times? The good times was just it, it, like I said, it was fucking heaven. Uh, everybody over there was just so peaceful for the most part. Um, mm -hmm. And it's like it was just a different way of living over there. And I I got a new outlook on life. I mean, I came back. I don't give a fuck about money. I don't give a fuck about wearing name brand clothes. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about a whole bunch of shit. You know what I'm saying? And I will eat motherfucking food whether I don't like it or not. Because if you hungry, you better eat that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I just learned some stuff. I mean, I lived in a house one time over there with no electricity and no running water for a week. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. living like that, you know what I'm saying? You just learn stuff. And you learn how America is so spoiled and and just like so used to things. You know what I'm saying? It's like you don't know what it's like to not have a toaster. 
You know what yeah. I'm saying? Not having hot water I mean, in, this in, in the house. There's motherfuckers in the states that's living like that in I don't America. America. Well, true, true, true. true but, like the average person I'm doesn't just motherfucking saying. Time. Pause that right there. Okay, so. I'm just about to say. Exactly. I love how he doesn't say. He doesn't say electricity. He doesn't say water. He doesn't say a toilet. It's a toaster. <laughs> I didn't even when I lived with my mom, we didn't even have a fucking toaster. Like what? He said, I can't imagine life without a toaster until I went to Africa. The fuck? Really? Oh my god. We didn't even have a microwave. Like what the fuck? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he didn't understand poverty until he went to Africa. Oh my goodness. Oh, ugh. I was slumming it around the Africa. <laughs> didn't even have a toaster oven. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. And it ended how, do you, up... how do you toast your bread? They did it over an open fire. It was amazing. It was amazing. <gasps> but they didn't have... Uh, Their couches were made of animal skins instead of leather. Oh, yeah, like, what the oh fuck? my gosh. Oh, God. Oh, I had fleas on. Excuse me. It like, was what? so barbaric. Oh. That type of stuff. They don't know what it's like living like that. But I liked learning and living all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And plus, it was a beautiful country. You know, and the people were great. You know, it was just, I loved the way of living over there, the society, the, the everything so was. You're a photographer, ooh. right? You have some pictures? Is I, like, I like I like animal photography. Yeah, I like animal. He's a black photog. Photography. Well, that's like fucking, no, let's stop. Okay, if you ask somebody, are you a photographer? And they, their automatic response is, I like animal photography. What do you think? <laughs> I like animal photography. That's what I do. I do animal photographies. Is that even what it's called? I don't even think that's a classification of photography. Like, I mean, where's photog when you need him? We yeah, need to right? understand. Oh, is yeah. that a thing? Is animal photography a thing? Photog is not my friend unless I'm talking about people he likes. Oh, well. Yeah. So, you know, he you don't know like... what? It's okay. We're going to figure this out. It's we'll okay. just play that so, uh, beautiful so... bean footage. Yeah. Screw you, fat photography. <laughs> um, no, no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't no. Don't say that. No. One thing I uh, I bought. Edit that video for me. Bought my camera for partly, mainly going for going over there because I wanted to take pictures of cheetahs and and. Let, such. let me ask you. Um, are you? Uh, do you know? Do you have like a kind of I, I, ideal path? Are you you doing music as well? I do. Are you trying to go that's back to artist. Africa? Are you trying to go I'm, live? Well, that, that's an, uh, that's another thing. I mean, I want to go. I'm really in a struggle with that because I've been wanting to go back for a while. Uh. Um, I'm I'm in between like going back to Kenya or going to a new country, and um, I'm trying to decide. I, I I almost didn't come back, and I'm thinking about going back there and not coming back. Yeah. And um, I also don't know. I mean, I might. I guess I guess I get like um besides just going to be in Africa. Like, do you? Like have a, uh, you do photography, and I'm just like trying to get a feel you for rap, what what maybe yeah, your ideal you kind of, of situation. Would I do be. I do everything in like artistry. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. do, I'm just the world is my canvas. You're gonna piss them Africans off, please, Mister White Man. Do not come back here, please. Oh shit! I guess I was oh doing something God. on screen I wasn't supposed to. Anyway, my bad, y'all. Mm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I see, continue. I take uh -huh. it and I twist it around in my own way to make it art. You know what I'm saying? Everything from everything in the multimedia business to like my bushes outside. You know, they, they needed to be trimmed. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to make dandy. some shapes out of it. So I tried. Uh -huh. I'm making that fucking out. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to say this to er everybody. 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 Listen, everybody. If you want points. Either hit me up in the Discord or 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 you need to leave a comment after the video is published. Leave a comment because I check my comments. So if you need points, crash because I'm gonna forget. Um, please just you know post it in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter, any way that you can fucking contact me. Just hit me up. You'll get your points. Drew, thank you. The thumbnail art. I didn't make it. It's D. I don't know where his black ass is. He should be in here because he was in Discord earlier, and then he he just disappeared. So I don't know where the fuck he's at. But thank you. I will let D know that you appreciate his art because Andrew, Token Drew, excuse me, um, he draws as well. So 
alligator head yeah. and black panther helmet you know what i'm saying a, mm. and a pyramid and all types of shit you know um um i t i like dope. i like video games you know what i'm saying so like i i break them down and i mod them and i make my own version of that game so i'm making my own games too he mods them he mods the games mm. yeah i don't what does that mean you're a gamer what does that mean gamer um that means he changes certain things in the game um for instance uh well you you play video games, but certain ones. You ever heard of Devil mm -hmm. May Cry? Yeah, I like that one. That was fun. Okay, well, um, my husband played. In the new one, the uh, the main character Virgil, oh no, uh, Dante. He has his, his brothers in, and he has all these crazy moves. Well, some modders found that there was a workable, there was a workable character with moves and everything that you could play yourself. So they modded it and made it like if you added that mod to your PC game. You could play as Virgil, and then fucking a year later comes out, ooh, a Virgil <clears throat> on Devil May Cry Five. Like they, it was already in the game, so they they were getting ready to release it eventually. So okay. they, can, they can go in there and do stuff like that, or they can go in there and just change things and mod, you know, change like how you saw in that one video how he changed the font, yeah, and he changed things in the background. He just asset flips certain things, and then some people can actually literally change like add things to the game like new costumes new powers uh they can add a photo now, is mode. This it's crazy. Legal? is it now if you sell it right so if you make one of these things and I, i'm guessing it's a code and mm. you decide to sell it to somebody is that legal i'm not sure about oh, excuse me. sorry a long day um i'm not too sure about that i know the mod sites that i was on since i got me a gaming pc they were all free so i don't know many of them at least on PC, that make you pay. But I mean, I could be wrong because I'm a new PC gamer. Any PC, like uh, Shadow Tigger, if you're still here, um, do they charge for mods? Because I'm assuming that Nuka does. Yes, Nuka charges for mods. And oh, he's planning wow. on coming back out and charging money for his mods. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are people that probably do, but yeah. the, the ones I was I just found wondering if you can do that. Yeah, maybe you can. I mean, I guess you can really. <laughs> That would be weird. You're charging money to edit somebody else's game and then put it, I don't know. Maybe you can, maybe you can. I'm not too sure on that one. I don't know. Same questions. Hmm. All right. You know, it's just everything I see, I just go and I take a piece of it and I make, I make, put my own artistry on it. Is there any it. one thing that, uh, that you want to most do? I love, no? I love uh, audio engineering. Audio engineering. You Have you, you gone to school or anything for that? Or no, it's you all self-taught. Right it's all self-taught. Self yeah. I mean, I I wish <laughs> I could have. <laughs> I'm gonna say this total before you start rapping. Even even going to Africa, scientific scientists say that the first man was Africa. Yeah. So that's the Rift essentially Valley. Everybody, that's essentially everybody's Which fucking roots. Which is in roots. Kenya. Yeah. That's essentially everybody's roots. Mm -hmm. So. Even if even if white people want to go back to Africa to trace that, that that's essentially their roots too. That's the essential roots of fucking mankind. Yeah, is Africa. Yep, we so, all came from everybody. There. Knows that. We, we all came about from it right a black now, woman, which is what I worship. Yeah, black woman. I worship, so I worship the black Dizzy woman Wright. and Mother Earth. Yeah, those that's aren't really solid. necessarily bad things. And, to and worship. I, 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 I can't I, really like. I, I, I've got a I've got a question. Them. Okay, so um, the tattoo says. Fuck oh, whites there we go. and black power. Yes. So, it, you know, I'm trying to understand the le level of animosity that you have towards, is it white people in, in, in general because they're white? Or is it more because of the way the man is in so man. the way society? Well, I'm saying, like, I mean, is it more of like a, you know, is it more like because white men have it, kind of dominated and created the society and that that is what you're against because i mean when you saying fuck whites that's like i mean i as a white person i'm just trying to understand Dominican. where <laughs> wh like where wh what that really represents to you you know that like it's kind of almost i would say i mean i've been trying i i, I always try to understand everything myself right. and, and so dissect I, feel like you everything. Don't I try to dissect hate my own mind white people right i mean well that's what i'm getting into i try yeah. to dissect my own mind i try mind. to I understand really everything myself okay. i mean i've been trying to how else could you understand anything i can't understand anything yourself i try to dissect my own mind now i get i get that but I what i want to know what does that have to do with the context of what he's talking about right now nothing 
Yeah, yeah he's trying to be deep. Because yeah, you can break down, think what you what you think of things you do, and try to figure out why you think these things and why you do the things that you do and why you feel the way you feel. But that's just, that's just a weird. I don't know. This out for years. Well, My if he's doing that, he would realize that he's a white man and he needs to stop with the bullshit. Yeah, man. I don't know. But <laughs> I have no retort. I think it is. It, it, I mean, like, it's a little bit of brainwashing. I think from growing <laughs> growing up having you know all white people you know being evil and all the black people being cool as fuck. It's mm -hmm. just got that in my head that <laughs> right. if you're um, white, yeah. you're evil. If you're black, you are heavenly and you are what no. we're. Yeah, because you know, what about black... the what about his parents wait, and his roommate was a white dude. <laughs> Wait, drag said right. He's like he's saying she's trying to say that sex is on mine. So he's trying to say he's challenging his own ideas, which is yeah. But like I'm trying, yeah. I, I try to dissect my own mind. Like, <laughs> but why though? What the fuck does that mean? Like, <laughs> I mean, like what the fuck are you talking about, man? Again, I'm the high one. You're not supposed to be doing this. I'm high. Oh man. I'm a little intoxicated and I'm sleepy too. That's the worst part, man. <laughs> uh, I gotta start getting more rest on the days on, on my work days. That's the problem. Cause, I, well, I'll tell you about that later. Anyways, let's get back to it. It's supposed to be. Are okay. you saying you were brainwashed into that, or are you saying that that's what you experienced as a child, not brainwashed? Yeah, I, I got, that's I got, not... I got brainwashed by the shit that I went through. Your everyday shit, life. The stuff that I I'm saw. Saying not, you're not saying yeah. mainstream media or like no, movies. No, 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 no. The experience. shit that your I experienced. Yeah, your life yeah. experience. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay. But besides all that shit that they did to me in school, I witnessed them doing that to all my black friends too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Calling them ends with the ER, which I fucking hate mm. that word. Even when black people say it, I hate it. But, Nigger. you know, calling them that, spitting <laughs> in their faces and stuff like that in the lunchroom. Like, so many different things I saw, and yeah. I was just like, hate it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yes, in one aspect, I do hate all white people because I just feel all white people are the same. And um, I'm just a little bit racist toward what them. About your parents? But. Yeah, yeah. What about your parents? What about your sister? They're white, nieces, bro. nephews. No, excuse me. They're not white. They're people. They're people. Yeah, they're people. They're right. People. Okay, I'm a people. Yeah, but I guarantee he would get mad if some white man's like, I just, I just hate all black people. I mean, you know, they're all fucking dirty and smell and you know violent and you know I just you know I just don't I can't stand them. You know, if somebody did they be like, oh, that's racist. You're generalizing. Right. What are you doing, dummy? On both sides of the fucking fence at the same damn time. I ain't never seen nobody ride two horses so fucking well. Tell you, man, this dude's a paradox. He's just gonna like, one day he's gonna think and just disappear out of existence. Wait, that doesn't make, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm white, but I hate white people, so I hate myself. No, but I love myself, but hate was. <laughs> Yeah. implode yeah. i know and you know i met <laughs> flick you know and sabilla and one or two other white people that are cool so i guess Dan's you know Dominican, not so all good. not all well i don't know yeah. you yet to make a sure. full, no, full that's, that's fair yeah uh you know so maybe not all white people are bad yeah but you know i'm just excluding them from my my fuck whites you know i i think <sighs> you seem to me like a, a very like a pretty thoughtful person in your from then you should put out like an arrow like fuck some whites whites yeah <laughs> fuck some whites exactly that's fuck fine. racist whites yeah. fuck mean whites you know but no you said fuck whites that's what you said you <laughs> wanted to put kill all white people on your motherfucking art oh really yeah that's what he wanted in the first place oh my god you forgot you're drunk you know what kill you need all help. white people yeah he probably only got very far in them. society doing that you oh but you want milk here. Get out. <laughs> mm. <laughs> From what you've seen, like standing up for the things no that's all you. done to your black friends around you. You, know? you have no idea which <laughs> What? I'm not you, allowed to say one thing. No, you can do. I, no, I you need to tell you? that story because we're not we're no. not gonna No, you need to. You that, have I'm to. saving well, that well, for the well, documentary. What I'm getting what I'm, well, well, what I'm getting at have to. But what I'm getting uh, what all I'm getting at is that uh, it seems like the documentary, y'all. Uh, you're trying to infiltrate the documentary. I feel like you're uh, to to have this blanketed um, 
uh, fuck white people even. And I understand like th- that that seems like you've kind of gone farther. Well, he already said he finds he already said he finds white women unattractive. So it's not like I'm trying to fuck white people. You know, it's like. <laughs> Yeah, we know exactly what you're trying to do. You know, he wants to eliminate them. He wants yeah. to get rid of them. He wants to fuck them out of existence. I think that's what it means. What about what about I fuck white people? That would work. I don't think anybody would be offended by that. If there was a dude just running around with a thing that says I fuck white people, they'd be like, "Well, is it only white people?" You know, <laughs> I yeah. fuck white people. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> do you like white girls? There you go. You know, I feel like that's cool. You know, that I don't see anything wrong with that. <laughs> the little mental smile. There you go. <laughs> I'll take it. They're in that the direction of which you were originally um, uh, standing up against, you know? Because that's kind of how white people were treating black people, like fuck black people. And so instead of maybe learning you know, from from that, it seems like you flipped it. Mm. Um, am I? I just want to live in a society like Marcus Garvey was trying to create in the nineteen twenties. Back to Africa? No. He was trying to create a society where blacks were independent. Yeah, and but and I thought it's Garvey all, was like back only to only African blacks, black, only blacks. Black. Yeah. yeah. He was, no, 100%. Garvey was back to Africa. That was I'm gonna say movie. this is a black person too. Um, I'm not one that actually gets mad at white people. If they want to fucking celebrate, you, I, I, it's a difference between hatred and celebrating your culture and and who you are. But when us as black people, we we'll see it as white supremacy. I'm, I'm just saying this. I don't give a fuck if any race wants to Uncle celebrate. Jaren. Uncle their, Jaren coming up. No, nah, right. I mean, what's this? Since Amelia Marcus Garvey, Google him. It's, it's, it's real. That's just 100 percent how I feel. If any race want to celebrate their heritage and who they are as long as it's not some hate and shit like but i feel like yeah as long as so, it's so do on a... other people's celebrations and a shit on other people's yeah, exactly. parades yeah yeah yeah, yeah. if but white people want to say yeah we have having a i mean i'm celebrating saying, white bro, culture but it, if it's not like we're it's celebrating, a bad look though in it is a bad look it's because a terrible of look, the fucking but, history yeah. that's connected i understand to what it. you're saying yeah though. but you're, if, you're having a really <laughs> like, i don't understand what he's saying like yeah. you say, you don't like people that, that just hate. You know what I'm saying? So, do you yeah. have a problem with me hating white people? No, because I, I think hatred comes from your personal experience. I hate all white people until I can maybe validate that they are okay. They yeah. have to get my approval. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't. I don't. Well, I believe every man should but be judged I, honestly, on the content of his character. Honestly, I wish. Exactly. He's the arbiter of white people. He determines which white people are good or not. Is it? And it, all say like, is like, nuka. Just like the, the 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 other guy said, you, you wanna you wanna judge people on the character that, of their content, not the fucking like you know color of their skin. At the end of the day, you know it's like 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 I said, I've said it on this channel many a times, and I hate I hate to repeat it, but like when it when it comes to like I hate to say it, but when it comes to like middle aged to older white people, I'm always like, you know, like I'm always like mm, I'm gonna observe you until you say something I don't like, you know. Cause I just, well, I mean, you understand how that's not necessarily a good thing either. Yeah, you no, know? I know it's not and, good. and I do understand like having to have that feeling because at the end of the day, I know when my husband goes out, he has to feel that way every time he encounters a cop. He's not entirely sure if this cop's going to be okay or not, so he has to approach the, approach the situation with caution. I get it. You know what I mean? And it's just it's sad that we all go into these situations with those presumptions, Mm -hmm. you know, and at the end of the day, what really makes me mad is that he exploits those. He exploits so many stereotypes all at the same damn time that it's just it it becomes it becomes grotesque. It's Mm -hmm. disgusting. It's it's vile. He is the scum at the bottom of the pond. (laughs) All right. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go up to, I'm going to hit 45 right in the middle. So I'm getting sleepy. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So we can have, when we do part two, we just listen to another 45 minutes and be done, you know? All right. Cool so, beans. Let's do this. Yeah, let's finish this. I'm getting a little tired. And I know y'all Aww. see me yarning on here like a little baby. So If you go to sleep live on stream, you should just let us keep going. Then Give me the stream lab the link. Cure. Yeah, just let us keep going. Been, uh, <laughs> it will be a little <laughs> <time. stuff> just... <laughs> Boys. We wouldn't have David Bowie. Cry. 
high. I'm yeah. a huge fan of David Bowie. Oh no, yeah, no David Bowie. I, no. Me personally, I just, I like I just like I like I, I like the cure I like for what anything, I like what like other fucking no not not science the cure to actually fucking ban. I like the uh, I like every I like the mixture of like different cultures, man. I, I just personally uh-huh. like that. Like I appreciate because I'm a, my favorite food is fucking Thai food. Mm. I don't even fucking really eat you know cultural black food. I like Thai food. I, I love the integration of cultures because every culture has its uniqueness about it. Yeah. And I think it all blending together, we get it's it's a doper fucking experience in life. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's just like I just don't like how some people, mainly the whites, try to act like they better than everybody when they ain't. The white. You know what I'm saying? That's because you have to be They kind of are. They kind of are. Oh, you know, fuck we that. kind of are. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Blacks Ooh. are at the top. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's we just are. Says who, dude? Says who? <laughs> you. Dan's I agree with him. Dan's on his Grand Dragon shit right we now. We are. Uh-huh. But let's. Um, what I'm saying, I understand what Jay, Jaren's saying entirely. I do think the melting pot uh, is amazing. I, I think yeah, it's the best. Yeah, 100%. Hell yeah. I think it's the best. And I think if you can act as, you know, and. One time, Jaron did call me a wigger in front of another guy yeah. who was a rapper, and he said, "Flick's not a wigger; he just knows." See, yeah, see, I'm, I'm a gray man right there. Like, the only reason, the only reason we gotta have black history and like black people gotta have pride, Hispanic pride. Y'all know the fucking reason. Y'all know the fucking reason. Like, if everybody was fucking equal, nobody would have to have pride in their race because it's not it's not something you achieved. You're fucking born that way. That's, you're black. You're born black. You're born white. You're born Latino. You're born Asian. You should you shouldn't have no pride in like I was born this color. But you have to have it in this country at least because of all the bullshit that comes around being a minority. That's the thing, you know. And then I hate when white people. Are like, well, I can't have pride, but you got all the pride. The whole country gives you pride. Everybody kissing your ass and, and blowing. <laughs> I, I was going to say something else, but anyways, because Billy watches. Yeah. Anyways, you. That's the reason you don't. You, like you know, and plus, usually when it yeah. comes wrong with pride, niggas get hung. So you know what I'm saying? That's that's the problem. But I'm with great yeah. man. You you don't need to have pride in your race. It's like you ain't nothing. You ain't got no. When you achieve, when like drag, he's about to get his motherfucking masters. Right? Should be proud yeah. of that. You Very proud. proud in that. You know, you get a promotion. You running your own fucking. You know, someone you running a, a chain of stores. You should have pride in that. You pride in that. I made it this way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You shouldn't have pride in something you was fucking born as. It makes no sense. But we gotta have gay pride. Why? Why we gotta have gay pride? Exactly LGBT because these pride. people have been marginalized and abused and mistreated and yeah. Yeah. So for all you all you fucking fucking bigots and racists out there, if you want to get rid of Black history and Hispanic history and Native American history and Black pride and get start treating motherfuckers like you would treat. Yo, 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 racist ass uncle. If you if you want to treat Uncle Bob just like you do Tyrone down the street, maybe maybe we wouldn't have we need to have no motherfucking pride, huh? How about that? It, it sounds not, like a plan. It's not that fucking hard, man. It's really not that hard to treat people like you want to be treated. You know, that, that reminds me of Django. I want you to treat yo, yeah, treat him like that. So you want me to treat him like he's a white man? No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I said. You remember that from Django, right? Uh huh. One of my favorite parts. It's yeah. I love that movie. I honestly think too. I this motherfucker, wa- he watched Django. that movie too. I he watched Django. it. I love Django. Yeah. That's one of my favorite movies, though. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> just, just you know, treat him nicer than you would a regular black person. <laughs> a regular black person. Yeah. Oh man, that was such a good movie, though. Who that nigga on that Samuel L. He worked his. Oh my God. All he right. did so good. That was a good movie. Yeah. Mm. yeah I got to buy that. So. Along with John Wick uh, 3. To talk to other people mm-hmm. like the same way we know how to talk to white people, which I think is a great point. And I, that's the whole point about the melting pot culture. Yeah. Is you are going to be. It, you're it, fooled by his, oh his, his talking abilities. I think my caffeine is kicking in right now. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, no. Holy. I'm just saying no. Anyone. But see, then that's I'm being saying fake. Anyone. If you I, change no. up how you no, talk. No, it's not, it's not no, fake. It's not being no. fake at all. It's, it's not, not being like fake. You're, you're not, not going to talk to a judge no, it's not the like same I, way you're going to talk to your, your mom. You're not going to yeah, talk. No, if you change the way you talk, I got to be fake. What was that? If you change the way you talk, you're being fake. Yeah. You're being fake. If you change the way you talk, 
You're being fake. So mm. saith Nuka. And you can't, you, you know, Nuka is the arbiter of anything racial, right? So we can't argue. Yes. Yeah, okay. We can't argue with him. This okay. is truth. There we go. It's like you're talking to your homies. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm going to add something to that real quick. Good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Last time I was in court. The judge says something I didn't quite Did understand what he said. No. He said I might be bit. Uh, no, no, said. I didn't understand what he said, and he, and and it's saying, instead of saying something, but Your Honor, I was like, I was like, what now? <laughs> and it's like the whole fucking place. Was Were you like, wearing a do rag? No, but but the whole <laughs> place was just like, like jaw anyway. drops, and they're like, <gasps> and you didn't say Your Honor, blah blah blah. I was like, what now? Huh? You know what I'm saying? It's like you're a motherfucking liar. You don't talk to the motherfucking judge like that unless you want to be put under the goddamn judge. I don't know how many times I've seen people talk to the judge on judge like, wait, hey, come back, come back. What'd you just say? Cool. Six months more. I don't know. <laughs> it could be some of that nice privilege we don't know nothing about. Okay, yeah, yeah. So all right. What it could be some of that nice privilege. Yeah, you know. You never know your family could be friendly with the judge and he'd be like, you know. Mr. Polish name that I don't know how to say. You lucky you white. Anyways, go, get, out, exactly. get out of my court. <laughs> That's court etiquette. Yeah. Court, court's a different thing. Well, see, well I think what you're trying to go off of saying, maybe. like, you shouldn't have to change the way you, you speak. Way you talk, like, speak. Yeah, well, some like people. You talk to women differently than you talk to men. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, it's not, well, it's not, there's, it's not it's a situational. Thing. It's not like you're becoming a different person or saying a different thing. It's yeah. just acting accordingly no, it's using, to you in the situation. Yeah, but it's kind of like yourself. It's kind of like being a chameleon now. I don't think it's an act. It's not an act. No, that's what I'm saying. You don't put on an act. You just respect the other person's culture. You know enough about it that you know. That's Not what I'm even saying. culture, it, it, just yeah. in boom. He kind of exposed himself being. He's like, it's like kind of being a chameleon. Hmm. Anyways, mm. like I said, guys. Um, I know. The, I know the title of this episode was a little deceptive. I did it for a reason because I didn't want a certain nuka in my goddamn chat while we were trying to do this. Or in my DMs. So the mm. next episode will have the appropriate title. So you know I'm going to be talking about this motherfucker. So hopefully I see a little bit more of you guys. Because I know just when you motherfuckers was getting used to it. Shut, shut up, woman. Just when, um, <laughs> just when you guys were getting interested in Nuka, we had to stop because he fucking erased the thing, you know. And then the strike thing happened and blah, blah, blah. But... If he wants to be a scammer, he went hard in the paint. He did. Oh, yeah. He went super hard in the paint for that oh, shit. In the motherfucking paint, Nuka. What you <laughs> think, Nuka? Oh, anyways, um, yeah. So this this motherfucker decided that he wanted to. Not only did he want to erase shit, he wanted to fucking. You know, he was trying to cover his tracks, but you know, we got my fucking. You know, wait, wait, over here, Foxy Brown over here, the detective. Ow. She 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 know how to get get this shit, so we we got it. Um, damn. So, do you have that downloaded though? Did you download that audio too? Okay, just in case. All right. Anyways, but we're gonna we're gonna finish that up because remember, as the title said, it, it's it's about tattoos and DNA tests. We didn't even get to the DNA test. Yeah, we talked about tattoos. We got to get to the DNA test. Yeah, so it's I'm a, wonderful. Hell yeah! So I'm definitely gonna part two this. But even though my caffeine is kind of kicking, I'm getting a little sleepy. So I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm getting a little, I'm still sleepy. That's weird. Yeah. You're weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I'm tired. If you can, I can't even speak right. I can't speak right normally, but I'm really fucking up. Right. <laughs> so I'm gonna bid you guys adieu. Um, All right. We will see you. Let's do this next week because I gotta finish that 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 second Vaughn interview. I finished okay. the first one, right? think so yeah i'm pretty sure i did so it was only 30 minutes so i gotta do that second bond interview on saturday and on next tuesday we'll finish up the nuka episode um yeah yeah, yeah. i'll figure it out i don't know i'm tired i probably shouldn't You're be so thinking weird. yeah i know You're so weird all right. all right you have to say goodbye to your audience and that you love them oh when are you going to do our video Which everybody video? wants to know when are we going to get the one today <sighs> I have it. Let me get my car. I'm taking my. I didn't. I'm not. Tell, I can't tell anybody why, but I got to take my car to get looked at tomorrow uh, for an issue. As soon as I can go in, go. As soon as I can go in my car normally, then that that'll get done. So I'm thinking maybe another week or two, but it it will happen. It will happen. Um, unless right. I order it online, but yeah, it's just it's a hassle driving. If it's not. 
to work. I don't want to drive because I got to go through in my car through the passenger side. It's a hassle every time. You know, I'm late to work sometimes because of that. You got a hoopty now. Oh, yeah. It's, it's That's a, what it is. You got a hoopty. Don't cry. It's no. Such a beautiful car. Don't, I don't cry. Don't get emotional. Don't, don't do it's, it. It's, it's push to start. You know. <laughs> yeah. And I can't even get in the driver's side door. Anyways, I'm going to get off here. I might get up. We, we might be on Discord. I'll see you guys next Tuesday for more Nuka News. Um, got anything you want to like say? That, Nuka News. Nuka News. Um, yeah, Nuka News sounds amazing. Um, join the cult. I hope to see you there. Um, also, Ladies of Lulz. Yay. Uh-oh. And that's it. Be- yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Ella, Lola, and of course, Miss Parker. And once yeah. again, and it's in the it's in the chat, it's in the description. If you want a this nuka, I gotta get one so I can model it for you. And I gotta get her one yes. too. This nuka here shirt. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I just, I'm just waiting to get paid on Friday, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna buy myself in this park some shirts. Y'all get to see it. Uh, uh, I think Lauren got herself one. So she says she's um gonna send me a picture too whenever she gets it. This nuka here. Mm-hmm. Check the description. It's in the chat. Stop being cheap pieces of shit. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Oh, no, excuse me. I'll see you guys on Saturday. But for more Nuka News, I'll see y'all next Tuesday. All right? Nuka News. All Nuka right. News. Signing Nuka. out. Y'all Nuka's <laughs> go to bed, goddammit. Bye. Oh, lazy ass.